G'day. Welcome to the 23rd video in the series where we're examining Jim Caronius' 100 integrals. And this is his 23rd integral. Uh, an interesting one. It's, it looks more frightening than it really is because the, hopefully one of the first things you notice about it is the derivative of the logarithm of x is in fact 1 over x. So we have this nice little pattern here. And obviously this, this is beautifully set up for the substitution method. Now I would expect that you can substitute u equals log x and go through the procedure, but I'm going to show you a slightly different way of setting out the material simply because I don't always like being conventional. But let me suggest this to you. I'll try and put in each step as we go. I'm going to write 1 over log of x cubed times, now instead of 1 over x, I'm going to write d by dx of log x times dx. So all I've done at this place, at this stage, is I've replaced the 1 over x with the derivative of log x. These disappear. They divide out. And I'm left with the integral of this. Now I'm going to write this as log x to the negative 3 times the derivative of log x. This is just the same as having u to the negative 3 du, but without going to all the trouble of writing a substitution on the side. The integral, of course, is going to be log x to the negative 2 over negative 2 plus c, because if we, if we want to work backwards and take the derivative, the negative 2 would come down and divide with that. So we don't change, we just have a constant of 1 out the front. And this would drop by 1 to negative 3. So that is, in fact, that's the integral of this, or this is the, integral, the derivative of that. So we've completed our integral, and all that remains is to write it neatly. Negative, put the minus sign out the front, 1 over 2 log x squared plus c. Short and sweet. Uh, for simple things like this, no real need to go through uh, the substitution process, provided you're happy using this notation. There it is. I commend this method to you and suggest that for some of your substitution questions in your school textbook, that you experiment with trying it this way because often you can do your work much more rapidly and in some cases with less confusion. But I'll leave it at that. I thank you for watching.